In this video, we're going to look at the latest Cloud Design Box web part, which is the Cloud Design Box blog web part. So I'm just going to start off on my home page here, and I'm going to add the web part to the page. So I'm going to click the edit button. And the good thing about this web part is I can add it into any of the sections. So it could be a full width section, or it could be one of the different arrangements of columns. So I'm just going to create a brand new um, single column, press the plus button, and I'm just going to search for CDB blog posts. And if I add that to the page, you'll see this populate straight away. It brings all the latest blog posts and guides. So especially if you're a teacher um, or a student, then these will be quite useful for you. Um, you can actually filter it because there's lots of different types of content in here. So if you click on the edit web part button, you can decide which category you want to show. So it could be, for example, business news, education news. It could be specifically for teachers. So it could be teacher guides. Um, it could be uh, students and parent guides. So there's a quick guide there for students and parents. Um, it could be the podcast. So the podcasts that we release on a regular basis you could catch up on all the latest blog post guides and this web part will obviously refresh as soon as those new posts are published there are some options on here as well we can change the title of it so because i filter this to podcasts i might want to call it um cdb podcasts that will change the web part title i can um hide the title of the item i could hide the description of the item if you want to make it a bit smaller I can show the date or I can remove the date and I can choose how many blog posts I want to show in each page so you can see it's quite a long list the standard 12 of them and um, don't forget this is dynamic so depending on which screen size you're on it will show more blog posts on a wider screen than it does a smaller screen but I could restrict it I could just show for example four blog posts and the rest of them will be paged, so they have to click on the paging option to go on to any additional ones that they want to have a look at. Um, so that's how you use it. And then obviously when you're ready to publish your page, click uh, republish, and then everybody can see that. And you can add that web part to any page um, on any of your SharePoint sites. And once that's been published, you can see I've got my news items, uh, blog post items on this page. And if anyone wants to click on them, it'll take them straight to that post on the website with the videos and all the text uh, for that particular blog post.